What up, what up, what up? What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Jesus. Welcome back to another Meta 25 online ranked match. And today, this is a three piece, uh, our third online ranked match of today. And we are using the Oakland Raiders going up against the Philadelphia Eagles. So here we go, going up against the Eagles, man. We receive ball first. So, a lot of speed that the Raiders have offensively. You got Pryor, you got Ford, you got one of the biggest glitches in the game. Run DMC, Darren McFadden. Guy's a monster. You got whatever the Titus name is. I don't know. Austin Berry, uh, 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 Pineapple Berry. I don't know. Something Berry. I don't know what his name is. He's something. I don't know. He's fast as hell, though. He's fast. He's mega fast. You got more. The, the offense on the Raiders is just ridiculous. Uh, the defense definitely has a lot of speed as well. One thing that I'm a little worried about is going up against the Eagles. This team, besides the Patriots, I don't know why, but the Patriots always give me trouble when I go up against somebody and they use the Patriots. But the Eagles always give me trouble as Run DMC uh, runs for the touchdown right there. Just so much speed. I have to, you know, play defensively. I have to play, excuse me, I have to play different defensively. Because of their weapons, you know, Deshaun Jackson with 98 speed, you got Macklin with like 93, you also got Shady right there who's a monster, you got Cooper who's an amazing slot receiver, he's, you know, a big target, I can't press, I don't even, I don't care if I got Patrick Peterson, I don't care who I got, I gotta keep everybody backed up, because they have so many deep ball threats, and I don't want to take the chance of maybe missing a press or anything like that, and they beat you over the top, so... I got to play backed up, and I usually have trouble with underneath stuff against the Eagles because I'm so worried about their speed, you know what I mean? And I, I just hate going up against the Eagles, man. I do. They, they just have so many weapons, man. Fourth down right here. He goes for a little five-yard route right there. He needed nine, and thankfully, uh, he doesn't pick up the first down. So, in swing possession right here, we end up going to a read option, and right here, he gets hurt, and uh, he's still there the next play. That happened like five times, like like it's the mutt cheese, yo. You know a mutt, if you only got one QB on your starting roster, that QB can never get hurt. He will never leave the game, no matter what. Um, in case you guys didn't know, I don't know if you guys did, but and mutt, um, a, a corner, a kicker, excuse me, or a punter cannot take over the quarterback position. So if you got two QBs in your roster, let's say you got 99 Elway, and then you got an 85 Andrew Luck backing them up, Elway can get hurt and leave the game because you have a backup. Andrew Luck now comes in. Andrew Luck can literally get hurt every single play from that from then on out, and he will never leave the game. You know what I mean? So um, it's like I got the Terrell Pryor Mutt edition. He he would get hurt and come in the next play. It's crazy. So here we go back again defensively, man. And uh, you know he, he uh, definitely saw what it was I like to do. You know, so he he made his adjustments. He started hitting the flats a little bit, and uh, you know started mixing it up with some outside runs. And uh, like I said, man, the Eagles are just very tough defensively. To try and uh, you know get a hold on just so so many weapons, man. In real life, they are going to be a problem. They're off, especially with Macklin coming back, man. Like that offense is is going to be one. I think a top five offense this year. I think so. You know what I mean? Especially with Foles out there. All oh, right, there we give a touchdown to the wide receiver screen. My favorite. <laughs> so um, he does get ball at halftime. So I definitely feel like a score right here is important, even if it's a field goal. You know what I mean? Something that. Uh, helps us inch closer to, you know, be prepared to if he does score. You know what I mean? So if we kick a field goal, he scores a touchdown. You know, we're only down one. So, but of course, I want to get in the end zone. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, worst case scenario, let's go on ahead and kick a field goal. So right there, face mask, ref. He twisted my neck. My my legs hurt. He 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 got into my spine. Can I get another five yards, ref? Can I get another five yards? My spine hurt. Saying that you should be able to negotiate with the ref, yo. You should be able to like, listen, my spine hurt a little bit. It's tingling a little bit. And you, you know, take out a little, you know, just just take out a couple more on there, man. Shave, shave a couple more yards on there, man. They ain't going to notice. So here we go, man. In uh, field goal range easily, Janikowski can, can, can kick as soon as you pass. Damn near the 50-yard line. So um, no timeouts remaining. Third down. We figure we're just going to chuck it up for a, a, a teabag attempt, but we get sacked. Uh, thankfully, we end up just being able to uh, squeeze the field goal off. So, we do go into the half up right now. It's, you know, we would like it to be better, but you know what? Anytime you can get into the Madden game that you are playing into the half up, you, you can't, you know, you got to take what you can get, right? Now, like I said, he does get ball, as you guys are witnessing now. 
And uh, so he has an opportunity to take the lead. You know, right there was a bad throw. I didn't get an opportunity to jump up, try and snag it. Uh, right here, he definitely caught me off guard. Was not expecting any type of run or read option on third and 14. Definitely snuck that by me. So ballsy call by him, but turned out to be a very, very good call as uh, he ends up scampering on into the end zone, retaking the lead. So a uh, good, good call by him. Like I said, I, I definitely wasn't expecting that. So uh, good play by him. So again, you know, we want to be able to drive downfield and, and at least, you know, get into field goal range, worst case scenario to re-get the lead. But I want to get a touchdown, you know, maybe go for two and, and hopefully, you know, go up a full seven points. Uh, right here on a crucial third down, we end up throwing um, to Streeter right there. And we end up getting the first down. So, right here, I back up for another pass, but nothing was open. So, we take off. Again, Pryor gets hurt. Next play, bam, he's still in there. I'm telling you, he's that up Pryor. I end up throwing a horrible, horrible pass. Shouldn't have even thrown it. Um, I, I don't know why, but from time to time, I'll get into a drive. And I just won't run the ball. I didn't do a, a single run. Well, I ran with Pryor, but I didn't do any handoffs. You know what I mean? And that's what this playbook thrives off of you know what i mean uh if you can't run the ball out of pistol it's a fumble you're gonna have trouble right there he tried a a jet sweep and oh my goodness oh my damn oh my goodness we it's going to him absolutely destroyed deshaun jackson right there caused the fumble so that right there was huge so third down right let's look at the first we go back to the read option and tp is the outside and we end up uh, getting stopped. But we do pick up the first down, which is uh, huge. Allowing us to hopefully be able to get in the send zone. We won with DMC and we get stopped. What's that? Seven, eight yard line or something like that. Nine. Right here. We try an off tackle play out of the strong uh, pistol formation. Don't really get anything again. We settle for another run. And I had the outside, but I bumped into my lineman. Uh, causing me to slow down. Third and go. I was like, you know what? I want to play it safe. I want to kick a field goal because I feel like if he does score... I should have ball last. I got all my timeouts, the two-minute warning, four minutes remaining. You know, even if he does score, I should definitely have last possession. So let's go on ahead, play it smart. Let's play for the field goal. If we score a touchdown, that's great. If not, we'll go up two points and either get a stop or it's going to be relied to our offense to win this game because I do believe we will get last possession. So Michael Vick drops back, goes over the middle. Nice snag right there. And, uh, you know, just so many things to worry about. This offense, man, it's so frustrating. <laughs> so right here, man, on second along, Michael Vick decides to take off. He stops, he throws, he throws an interception. Porter's like, give it to me, baby. I don't stop the again get enough. Enough of you. Woo! That right there was such a big play. And that right there was huge. So uh, right here, man, all we really want to be able to do is get a first down or two and game is over. Of course, right, injury timeout, which stops the clock, doesn't allow me to go to the two-minute warning, which is frustrating. So third and 14 right here. We drop back. We're looking in. We don't get anything. Fourth down. Like, you know what? We're going to take a chance. We're going to go for it. I uh, feel like, again, smart decision to do. But we do get a look at the teabag by Streeter. I uh, felt like we were, like, at, like, the 49-yard line or something like that. If we didn't get it, I thought about punting. I did think about it. It was a tough decision. But it's like, you know what? If I punt it, he has an opportunity to drive downfield, and I may not see the ball again. You know, if I go for it, to me, it's a win-win situation. If I don't get it. He's at about the 50-yard line, so he doesn't have much time to clock me. So I should still be able to get another possession. You know what I mean? He only he only has, you know, a handful of first downs he can get with me having all my timeouts. You know, if I get it, hey, better for us, right? And thankfully, we ended up uh, getting it. And uh, that right there is pretty much going to seal the deal. Unless he pulls a miracle out, which is going to be tough. You know, he has to score, you know, um, quickly, get an onside kick back and. Uh, right now, I don't even care if he scores. We're up nine. He can score. Uh, doesn't even bother me for all I care. What what matters the most is an onside kick if he does indeed score. So um, that's all I'm worried about. You know, if we can stop him here and end the game, hey, great. But I'm not even, again, I'm not even worried about it. You know, um, we're one onside kick away from winning. So read option right here again. I did click off like a weenie. You did see me click off. I can explain, damn it. Let me explain. What had happened was I had ate some popcorn while I was playing. My thumb kind of slipped to the circle button that's why it happened and i had you know i meant to dive and then i had just hit circle i don't know why i switched I, I'm, I don't know i don't know i don't know but we do end up getting the onside back and that's the end of the game guys hope you guys enjoyed don't forget man follow me on twitter if you guys are not already link is in the description follow my twitch.tv i live stream every single day watch this game live man come hang out 
That link is in the description. T-shirt shop in the t-shirt shop in the description. And also a couple more links I can't think of. So go on ahead and check that out, guys. Love each and every single one of you guys. Your boy Jess. I'm out. Peace.